Well, that message is important for everyone, but especially for caretakers who work inside people's homes. They're taking special care to make sure they stay safe and also keep their clients safe as well. We get that part of our coverage from Action News reporter Katie Catrow. Good morning. How are you, Bobby? It is scary. Um, we don't want our individuals to get sick and we don't want our staff to get sick. Jenny Doyle is part of a team of nurses from Ken Crest taking care of some of the community's most vulnerable. They rely on the nursing staff 100% and you know without them uh, they would be probably in a hospital. The people living in this home are what Jenny calls medically fragile. They may have trachs, tube feedings, um, they're immobile. Um, they require 24 7 nursing. Nurses are sanitizing doorknobs outside, yeah, why are you inside? Yes. and inside yes. in bedrooms and bathrooms, scrubbing down everything more than usual. Ken Crest works with people like Michael, a big action news fan who is relying on his caretaker to bring him groceries and leave them on his front stoop. It's been was gravy since this virus is going around. Clients can't interact with one another right now, so while group activities like music class are canceled, nurses like Jenny are still trying to bring some rhythm into their patients' homes. And the community is too. The whole block came out to bang pots and pans in unity of staying at home. It really felt good that the neighborhood included us um, in you know, their, their solidarity movement, and it really kind of brought us together. While we want to highlight the vital work that these nurses and home workers are doing, we also want to show you how we're staying safe while interviewing them. We are using this boom mic to keep our social distance from the nurses, and we also ask them to film their own cell phone video while inside the house so that we can still see the work that they're doing while keeping our distance from them. Reporting in Ambler, Katie Catro for Action News at at 10 on PHL 17. All right, time now for another check of the AccuWeather forecast tonight.